Now you're going to go ahead and get started and let everybody, have everybody back tonight. Good to see each one of you, and, and we're going to have a, another good service, ain't we? Yep. We're going to have another good service tonight. To just all get in and be obedient to the Lord, and we'll have a good time. Let's all stand, and uh, we'll open service prior, and we'll get started. Lord, we're thankful to we'll be back in your house again. Lord, just enjoy your precious presence, Lord. And Lord, just to sing praises to you, so you're so worthy of all praise and honor. And Lord, pray that you just have your way here tonight. And just fill this house, fill our hearts with your love. Lord, just pray that you bless the singers and speakers. Each one had a part tonight. We ask you things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. It's good to see everybody here tonight to worship the Lord. Let's help us sing. There's power in the blood. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to cleansing blood just in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing cleansing blood Jesus Jesus how I trust him how I proved him more and more Jesus Jesus precious Jesus oh for grace to trust I've learned 
he's one person we can trust in any for uh, each and everything. I'm going to take a prayer request, and of course, do ask to continue. Remember Sue and Jackie? Uh, Sue, she's having a lot of pain with her back, and just hold them up in prayer. Brother Jackie's blood pressure, having blood pressure problem. And Kenny, he's in a lot of pain. Just Kenny Wilson, hold him up in prayer tonight. Any others? Okay. Yes, yes, just remember them three. Yes. Others? Yes, Jimmy and Johnny, yes. Can you remember them? Any over here? Others. Okay. Let me just be a prayer for the rest of the service tonight also. Any others before we stand? Okay, let's all stand and just take these knees for a Lord. Lord, we come to you again, Lord. So thankful, Lord, that you never get tired of us coming to you. But Lord, we love our brothers and our sisters, and we're concerned about them. And Lord, we want to see them touched. We want to see them healed. We want to see them saved. Lord, we just pray for Brother Kenny Wilson right now. Lord, whatever caused this pain, Lord, we pray that you would just give him Lord, Brother Kenny loves you, and I know you love him. We pray for him. Pray for Brother Jeremy, Lord. You should know what the outcome is going to be. And we pray for him. Pray for Sister Sue. Lord, that you would just touch her back. Lord, give her some ease. But Lord, it's, it's so hurtful when your back hurts. Lord, just pray for her. Pray for Brother Jackie on his blood pressure. Lord, we pray for, for Jerry and Bobby this morning. Lord, that we pray for them. Lord, we pray for both soul and body. We pray for Michaela's dad also. And others, Lord, each request get in. Pray for the wealthy family. You fear them. Each one, Lord. We pray for Donnie's request. Lord, and Lord, you know the unspoken request. We pray for them. Lord, just believe that you're going to do a work. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Take up your Sunday night off. Brother King, would you stand and, and do and pray the blessing over the offering?
Thank you all. Appreciate it tonight. We'll start a special singing. We'll ask Sister Lori to come sing for us. To know something is missing Hear a still small voice That you just keep dismissing Do you know how it feels Troubled inside To think just for you On the cross someone died Do you know how it feels When he knocks to surrender Have your sins washed away Never to be remembered And to know And how does it feel to know you're a child of the King? Your heavenly Father knows everything. How does it feel to know you are loved by the one who created stars up above? How does it feel to know you are When your cold heart is melted and tears started flowing the moment you felt it do you know how it feels to know you've been changed it seems that the whole world has been rearranged do you know how it feels wherever you roam you still get a feeling you're not Looking for answers, you need a way out, you've been trapped in this trial, full of sorrow and doubt, you saw a trickle of sunlight, but you found no escape.
Thank our singers, Sister Lori and Sarah and Sister Jenny. And now we're ready for some preaching, ain't we? Let's do it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's give the Lord great praise tonight. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. How many knows he'll make a way? He'll make a way where there seemeth to be no way. He always makes a way, for he is the way. Praise God, the truth and the life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Again, it's so good to see each and every one of you in the house of the Lord on this Sunday night. Amen. And I feel the presence of the Lord in this house tonight. Amen. Praise God. Have your Bibles tonight. Stand with me for the reading of the Word of God. Let's go to the book of Hebrews. Amen. Chapter 11, known as the faith chapter. Praise God. I realize I have made some people nervous with this duct tape. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Brother Danny walked in with a row of duct tape. It was leper print, Brother Danny. Is that what you call it, leper print? And uh, I told him I had no desire for that row of duct tape. And then I said, what are you? doing with that row of leopard duct tape. Praise God. Amen. First time I've ever seen duct tape leopard print. But he's got some. Praise God. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 1. When you have it, say amen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Let's pray together tonight, if you will. Dear gracious, divine, heavenly Father, Lord, we're so grateful, so thankful, God, for your presence, God, that we already feel in this house tonight. God, we're thankful for every part of this service, God, what's already been said and done in this house tonight. Lord, to edify you and to glorify you. But, God, we just pray that for the next few moments, God, as I deliver your word tonight, God, we pray not our will, but that your will shall be done in this service tonight. I pray, God, that your word, God, the preaching of your word tonight will impact the hearts of every man, woman, boy, and girl. Lord, as your word declares, it will not return void. And, God, we just pray that you move and touch upon your people tonight. Open up the windows of heaven, and I pray, God, that the rain of the Holy Ghost will fall in this house tonight and we give you glory and praise and honor for what you're going to do in the mighty name of Jesus we pray amen and amen praise God give him praise tonight as you're being seated hallelujah praise God amen brother Jeremy I want you to come and help me tonight you come and help me I appreciate this brother he's not missed a service since he gave his heart and life to the Lord. Let's go over here and sit down. Amen. 
and his cousin, Sister Miranda, amen, they've not missed a service. That's how you know they got a hold of it. Praise God. I appreciate them. Amen. I, I want to preach on a thought tonight for just a few moments. Duct tape faith. Duct tape faith. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, have you got duct tape faith? We notice in, in the reading of Scripture of how the faith... How the Lord has, has given, and we, we preached upon this many times before, and we read it many times before, and we've heard it taught in Sunday school countless times, but, but we know in the Word of God how that God's given each one a measure of faith. Then as we read in, in, our, in the Word of God that without faith it is impossible to please Him. That if a man's going to please God, if he's going to move the hand of God, he must be a man of faith. Amen. We even read in Scripture of how the faith is one of the fruits of the Spirit. Amen. To say that it starts out like a, like a seed, if you will, and over the, over the seed of faith, it, it grows until there is fruit. Amen. But this process takes time. Just as a tree starts out as a seed, then eventually results in a tree. That faith can be compared, if you will, in the same way how that it starts out like a small all seed and over time the seed of faith grows until there it produces fruit in your life hallelujah our faith is like a tree that needs to grow and be constantly fed in order to produce fruit in our lives hallelujah but I have found along my Christian journey my walk with the Lord that, that for me to keep the faith and for me to, to have faith that pleases God and moves the hand of God that, that I must be one that feeds my faith. Uh -huh. You and I must be people that feeds our faith. What is it that we feed our faith with? We feed our faith the promises of God. For as I've said before, for every problem that you have, God has a promise for it in His Word. Hallelujah. When you pray and you seek and you seek the face of God, you are feeding your faith. When you study the Word of God and you study the Scriptures of His Word, you are feeding your faith. Hallelujah. So we must be a people that feeds our faith for him to grow in the Lord. Hallelujah. For our faith to grow in the Lord there must be desire on the inside of our innermost being. Hallelujah. For everything begins with desire. Uh -huh. I said everything begins with desire. Praise God. Whether it's a hunting trip, whether it's a shopping trip, whether it's a fishing trip, whether it's vacation or whatever it may be, everything begins with desire. Hallelujah. So one must have desire first. Before they, if they don't have desire, they're not going to accomplish anything. So for us to, to advance in the kingdom of God, for us to, to reap the benefit, benefits of God and to be used of God, there must be desire for more of God on the inside of our innermost being. Hallelujah. I like what Brother King, when he came up to the altar this morning, he simply had the request, I just want more of God. I want more without any measure. I just want more of him. Hallelujah. That should be our prayer of every child of God that we just simply we want more of God. Hallelujah. I want more of him. Less of myself and more of God. Hallelujah. Can somebody give him praise tonight? Amen. <clears throat> but we know that for, for us to move God and to please God, as everyone I believe in this room has that desire to please God, that we must be a people of faith. But I find that in this time that we're living in, that there's a lot of folks that, that is operating on duct tape faith. Uh -huh. Now you look at duct tape, and duct tape is something that's just always holding something together. Uh -huh. That's the only purpose that it serves, is that it's just simply always holding stuff 
together. I have seen vehicles go down the road that's literally got their bumpers held onto their car, to the frame of their car simply by duct tape. Uh-huh. I've seen machinery. I've seen other things that, that just simply held together by duct tape. So the purpose of duct tape, it's just simply always holding something together. Hallelujah. But it, it is the will and it's the purpose of God. Hallelujah. For you and I has his people and has his church. I bless you, God. It is his will that we exceed beyond the state of being to say, I'm just barely hanging on. I'm just barely hanging in here. I'm just barely just, I, I I feel like I've just got duct tape on me, if you will. And I'm just simply just holding things together. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ, he went to the cross. And from the cross, he went to the grave. And from the grave, he was ascended to the right hand of the Father. He died and rose again for more than for you just to simply hold things together. But he died and he rose again for you and I to have a life and to have it more abundantly to live a life of victory and a life of power. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm reminded of, of the woman of Zerapath. She was operating on duct tape faith. How that the man of God come to her city came to the gate of her city and he observed her as she was gathering his sticks and he called to her and said I pray thee give me a little water in a vessel that I may drink and she went and as she was going to fetch it he called her and said pray me I pray thee a morsel of bread in thy hand so give me some water if you will give me some bread if you will and then finally she, she said as the Lord thy God liveth I have not a cake but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise I'm gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son that we may eat it and die so here the man of God he's come on the scene come over here brother Jeremy he's came on the scene He's requested water and bread from this woman. And she tells him, I have, I have all I have. It's just a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise. I'm just gathering these sticks that me and my son, that we may go in and dress it and prepare it and we may eat it and tie. What she was operating on was just duct tape faith to say that we're barely hanging in here, to say that we're barely surviving, to say we're just it's barely hanging on. Oh, oh, we're doing it just, just barely holding together. Duct tape faith. Get that tape roll. Tear me a piece off. We're just barely hanging in here. So I'm just. Barely hanging on. Give me another piece. Uh, we're, just, we're just gathering these sticks. We're going to go in and dress it for me and my son. Give me another piece. Uh -huh. We're going to prepare it. And we're going to eat it. And we're going to die. Give me another piece. Uh, we're just barely hanging on. I don't have no water for you. I don't have no bread for you. I'm living off duct tape faith. Just barely hanging in here. I'm just barely surviving. I'm just barely alive. I find a lot of church folks is operating and living in that same state of being. Hallelujah. But as I told you, Jesus did not go just to the cross. And from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the right hand of the Father. For you just to be barely hanging in here. For you just to be barely hanging on. Praise God. He's got power. I said 
Satan has got power. He's got power. Hallelujah. To give you power over all of the power of the enemy. Hallelujah. Hear me now, peace. Don't take faith. If you can see, hear me now, peace. With the spiritual eye, you see some folks that's got duct tape all over them. Just barely hanging on, preacher. Uh-huh. Just barely hanging in here. I feel like I'm just barely just holding on by a thread of hope. Hallelujah. Remember, you got to feed your faith. I said you got to feed your faith. Praise God. It's more than just Sunday morning. It's more than just Sunday night. It's more than just Wednesday night. Oh God, you got to get on your knees. You got to get in the word of God. And you got to feed your faith to grow in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Duct tape faith. Hand me that piece. She tells the man of God, we're going to die. Is that not what she said? That we may eat and die. But the man of God said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou said, but make me a cake first, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of all fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many days, because she obeyed the word of the Lord and started living by faith in God. Amen. Praise God. He tells her, for thus saith the Lord. You see, the word always changes your situation. I said, if you allow it, the word will always change your situation. Hand me another piece. So she heard the word of the Lord. It changed her situation. Not only did it change her situation, but it changed her life. Uh She obeyed the word of the Lord And she did according to the sin of Elijah In other words, she got to the place I'm tired of just barely hanging on I'm tired of just barely hanging in here Praise God, I need life And the place I find life Is in the word of the living God Hallelujah The place that I find life Is by having faith in a living God Amen Praise God so she went from duct tape faith give me another piece just barely hanging on to great faith as I said before every day go to that barrel meal and pick up some more meal God, pick it up again. I may just be preaching to myself tonight. That's all right. Oh, and every day she went to that little oil on the cruise, and she would find the oil that she needed because she went from duct tape faith and to having great faith in the Word of God. When you have faith in His Word, you shall not die, but you shall live. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, yeah. she went from saying, we're going to die to living. That ought to make you want to jump up and run. Hallelujah. I said she went from saying, we're going to die, and she went to living. 
God. She went from just a handful of meal in a barrel to a great amount of handful of meal in a barrel. She had more than just a handful, but she had an ample supply. I caught all because of her faith in God. Oh, her faith in the Word of God. Oh, she was no longer just barely hanging on. No longer just barely hanging in here. I mean, have you ever seen a car that had duct tape on it? I've seen it. All the roads I travel, 14 years traveling all across this day. Tennessee, Tennessee and North Carolina. I've seen cars with duct tape all around their back bumpers. And the end of that bumper, when it hit a bump, it touched the road. Just barely hanging on. Oh, glory to God. Living. There's a lot of folks in the same condition because they're living off duct tape. Faith. Just to say, it is what it is. I'm not expecting anymore, my blessed God. It just is what it is. No, it's not. Oh, he said, I've come that you may have life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. I got, he didn't die and rise again for you just to be mediocre. But he died for and rose again for you to have a life and an ample supply of life more abundantly. Abundantly, hallelujah, for you to live. Praise God. Now, let's look at another lady that was living off of duct tape faith. This is the lady that had the creditor at her doors. Elisha said, tell me what you got in your house. I don't have nothing but one pot of oil. Living off duct tape faith. Just barely hanging on. Patching up. Just patching things up. Hurting, but I'm just patching it up. Broken creditors at my door. But I'm just patching up. How many of you? I'm discouraged, but I'm just trying to get by. How many of you? I'm depressed, but I'm just simply just trying just to see another day. Duct tape faith. Same place that this woman was in. I've got creditors at my door. They want my sons in part of my debt that I owe. Oh, and all I've got is just one pot of oil. But the man of God, you know the story. He tells her, go get her some vessels. And the Lord supplied the oil in her vessels. That she, that she ran out of vessels long before she ran out of oil. Hallelujah. And she paid the debt by selling the oil. She paid her debt. And her and the children of the rest, they did not die. But they they lived. Hallelujah. That is what faith in God will do. That you can declare, I shall not die, but I shall live. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hand me that piece. Depressed, but I'm going to make it. Discouraged, but I'm coming out because I'm tired of patching up things. 
I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm tired of feeling like I'm barely hanging on. I'm tired of feeling like I'm just barely going to make it. Hallelujah. I'm going to get under the fountain where the glory of God is being poured out. And I'm going to receive the power and the life that God has got for me. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. How do we do that? Well, you got to take a stand. You got to take a stand. Now, I'm reminded of three Hebrew boys. You know the story. But there's three words that sticks with me about them. It was the three words they uttered. But if not. After saying, if it be so, after saying, we're not careful to answer thee in this matter. After saying, we know that God will deliver us from the hand of the king. They then said, but if not. You see, a lot of folks that have faith in God on conditions. I'll serve you, God, if. I'll pay my tithes, uh uh-oh, if. I'll give an offering, if. I'll, I'll sing, if. I'll get in church, if. When we need to take the conditions and limitations off of, off, of, off of God and be like the three Hebrew boys and declare, but if not, I'm still going to serve the Lord. I'm going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Like Joshua, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord regardless what comes and what goes. We will serve the Lord. Oh, a lot of folks limits God by duct tape. God wants to do a new thing in your life, but all you want to do is patch things up. (laughs) To say, that'll hold it for a while. (laughs) Duct tape faith. (laughs) Because duct tape will only work for just a while. He will lose his effect. And the bumper will fall off. It will fall off. But when you have faith that moves mountains. Oh, glory. I said, when you have faith that moves mountains, when you have faith that says, but if not, hallelujah, faith that moves mountains, hallelujah, it'll bring you into a season of power and a season of blessings and a season of joy in the Lord that is unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. That we will not fail. But we need that kind of faith. But if not, we've got enough enough duct tape faith in the church today. We need some faith that says, but if not, I'm going to pray regardless. I'm going to worship regardless. 
I'm going to serve God regardless. I'm going to sing for God regardless. I'm going to preach for God regardless. I'm going to testify for God regardless. I'm going to work for him regardless. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell of the goodness of the Lord regardless. I'm going to be a witness for the kingdom of God regardless of what comes or what goes. I've got faith in a living God and I'm going to serve the word of the Lord regardless. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Going to live by his word. Walk by his word. But if not, I'm going to serve the Lord. But if not, we need faith like the men of old. Faith like Daniel had. Faith like Peter had to get out of the boat and walk on water. Faith like Lazarus had to know its voice and to walk out of the grave. Give me that kind of faith in God. What do you want from God? I'm going to go to heaven. That's right. You want more of him? Yes. You want to feel the power of the Holy Spirit? I feel the power of the Holy Spirit. You know what brings that? Faith. Sure. Faith in God. Hallelujah. To say, I may not be able to, to see it. May, it, may, I, it may not be visible unto me, but I know that he's there because I can feel him. I can feel his presence. I may not see a breakthrough today. May not see it tomorrow, but bless God. I know it's on the way because I got faith. Hallelujah. But if it doesn't come, if, but if not, if it doesn't happen, I'm still going to serve the Lord regardless. I'm still going to put my faith in God regardless. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. You believe God can heal your cancer? Huh? I believe God can heal me of Crohn's disease. I believe it. They're already amazed. Yeah. Christy, they're already amazed. Yeah. I believe God can heal me. But if he don't heal me on this side, I'm going to preach for him regardless. I'm going to shout regardless. Praise God. I'm going to rejoice Regardless, praise God. I said I'm going to rejoice regardless. I'm going to rejoice in the Lord regardless. I'm going to be had joy in the presence of the Lord regardless. Amen. Somebody praise him in this house. Oh, God. Tell these folks what the doctor has already told you thus far. What you... Told me this morning that uh, uh, he said my esophagus looked good or it, good. it was thick, nice and thick, and that I had a spot on my lung, and that's about it going for a pap sco or a PET scan or something like Dental. that. Dental. So what they didn't tell you? Yeah, they haven't told me nothing, but it was just cancer. That was, you know, so but I got a little relief or a little, just felt, I felt better. A touch. Touch of the healer. Faith will bring the healing. Hallelujah. Faith will bring deliverance. Praise God. Faith will break the strongholds. Don't lose your faith in God. As the region Jesus told Peter, I pray that your faith will fail you not. Keep your faith in God. In God will move for you in your life. Amen. Somebody praise him in this house. Cutting and Sister Jenny. Yeah. Yeah. Quit living off of duct tape faith. Yeah. 
faith that says, I don't know if we're going to make it or not. Tell me. Faith that says, I just don't know if I'm going to make it. God wants us to live off of faith that pleases him. Faith that says, I am going to make it. Faith that says, me and my house is going to be saved. Faith that says, every stronghold in my home is going to be broken. In the name of Jesus. Faith that says, addiction will be broken. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Faith that says deliverance will come to, to my home and my family in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Faith that says generational curses, they will be broken. They will be broken. God, they will be broken. They will be broken in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Duct tape fame. Well, affect your walk. You know why the disciples, Brother Jeff, why they couldn't see the young man delivered by the demonic powers? You know what Jesus told them? Because of your unbelief. He said, This kind coming forth by prayer and fasting. Is that not what he told them? I'm still in the book. They living off of duct tape faith. After they seen Brother Roger know the power that he had. You see, too many times we don't have no trouble believing for somebody else. But when it comes to us, when it comes on our doorstep, we get the duct tape out. Patching things up. Trying to work it out herself. Instead of giving it all to God. And declaring I'm walking by faith. And not by sight. I'm walking by faith. <coughs> and not by sight. Ah, blessed God. I'm walking by faith. And not by sight. May not you may not see what you want to see today, but keep walking by faith. Uh -huh. May not see what you want to see tomorrow, but keep walking by faith. Oh, may not see what you want to see this week, but keep walking on faith because it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming your way. Keep walking by faith. Resurrection came to Lazarus. Both of these, both of these women in her text, provisions came for both of them. Healing came for the woman with the issue of blood. Eyesight came to Barnabas. Resurrection came to the widow named little boy. Hallelujah. If God can move upon all of those in the days of old, he can move for you. If he can move for others, he can move for you. Praise God. Don't just have faith that believes for others, but have faith that believes for yourself to say it can happen to me. God can heal me. God can deliver me. God can provide for me in my life. He can do it. Quit living off a of duct tape faith and patching, just patching everything. Give me that piece. Because after a while, you're going to be consumed.
unbelief. You know what this picture of unbelief? This is a picture that says, I just don't know. I know God can do it for others, but I just don't know if he can do it for me. This is a picture of unbelief. We'll just do away. Throw the duct tape away and just give it to God. Just give it to God. Just give it to God. Say, I don't need this anymore. I've got faith. In a living God. He's healed me before. He can do it again. He's delivered before. He can do it again. He's put a shout at my feet before. He can do it again. He put a song in my heart before. He can do it again. He's pulled me out of depression before he can do it again. He's pulled me out of despair before he can do it again. He's pulled me out of discouragement before he can do it again. Give it all to God. I'm bringing myself holy before God. I'm going to give it all to Him. Won't you stand with me all over the house? You know how you, you know how you got saved? By faith. Don't know what the word says? By faith. Through his grace, not we of ourselves, but rather the scripture says it is the gift of God. Don't take faith. Christy and I went went to Kaywood. Just a handful of people there. But I went in there, and I'll be honest with you, I had to repent. Because I caught myself looking at the condition rather than looking at God. I said, I'm four hours from home. We got $97 in the bank account. Y'all laid it on somebody's heart just to even keep the electricity on. I'm not telling you no fairy tale. It's facts. First night we stayed. Christy Taylor. I told you before I slept in my had a pea coat on. It's in December 2007. Snowing, cold. I slept with my pea coat on and my slippers on. Just cold. The comforter and the blankets was, was dirty. Mildew. I heard mice running through the building. I looked at the condition. Now, I know none of you's never done that, but I did. Rather than on God. And a man of God prophesied over me. That man of God was my dad. He called me up. He said, 
we was in our home church. We was at church when when preaching that day, and he, he called me up. And the Lord spoke over me. He said, I sent you to K Wood. Called the church out by name. I sent you to K Wood. And if you will look upon me, I will do great and mighty things in the midst of that church. I had to repent. I was operating on duct tape faith. You ever have you ever have a pity party? You folks don't have pity parties? Praise God. Man. I had one. But the Lord got my attention. And after I repented and got my eyes, got rid of the duct tape. Just get by. I said, well, Stan was here, sent me up there. He, he said, I want you to go up there and preach. He said, I, I want you to go there. And the Lord knew what he was doing because up to about the last three months of the year 2007, it was like he just cut off my bookings off. Just cut them off. I couldn't get a booking to save my life. I've been traveling the road for 14 years. Every pastor and preacher known me. Went cold turkey. Just shut down. But the Lord knew I'm going to get his attention. That's where I want him to go. After the Lord got my attention, the man of God spoke over me. I repented. And I went back to that church. That following Sunday. That was on a Wednesday night. We was unable to have a service because of snow. And I went back to that, that Sunday. Beginning that Sunday, just had a handful of meal, but the power of God fell in that place. Brother Jeff, from that Sunday on, it turned around. From that Sunday on, it started growing more and more and more every week. There was people that walked by our church in the time we was there, and I'm not no boasting to myself. I'm telling you what God done. This is what God will do when you get rid of the, the duct tape. And you walk by faith and not by sight. And you give yourself wholly unto him. There are people, drug addicts, walking by our church. They would get arrested by Holy Ghost conviction. And we walk through the doors of the Kwood Church of God sit on the back rows and cry like babies and when I give an altar call they'd run to that altar there was one lady that's, that's preaching the gospel today that was sitting in her automobile in the parking lot waiting to pick up her son that attended our church just waiting to pick her boy up she wouldn't dare come in just waiting to pick him up she said, I, I had my windows rolled up and I started hearing. I started hearing. I heard y'all having church. She said, I heard that singing. And she said, the next thing I knew, I found myself at the altar. That's what God did. My first service there, we had nine in attendance. And my last Sunday morning that we was there, we had 77 in attendance. In two and a half years. But I had to get, I had to get rid of the duct tape. And I preached that first service. I came back that Sunday. Had just a handful there. And I preached like I had a thousand sitting in there started moving you see when you give yourself wholly to the Lord and realize that he wants to do more than just patch you up but he wants to do a new thing in your life a new thing in your life when you realize he wants to use you in a glorious way that he can receive glory God will do the supernatural in your life 
all the years I've been preaching this gospel, Brother Roger, there's not enough time that I can tell the goodness of the Lord. Because you want to know what makes this preacher rejoice? Right here. Right here. Uh, Brother Jeremy, that comes to the man of God's porch, Brother Roger's porch, and says, I want to get saved. Hallelujah. And then his cousin, Sister Miranda, she comes to the house of God. She wants to get saved. Then there's others that came in that wanted to get saved. That, that's what makes this pastor rejoice. That's what makes me say heaven's going to be worth the journey when we get there. Hallelujah. When we get over on the other side, that's what keeps me moving on. That's what keeps me pressing in. Hallelujah. It's to see Brother Jeremy succumb. That, that's in bondage. That's in captivity. But they Declares, I want to be free and I want to be free indeed. Yeah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So I don't know what you're going through tonight, but God does. I said, God does. Some of you may be living off a of duct tape faith tonight. God says, I've got great faith for you, I've got faith. To give you that I move mountains, if you just put faith in me, I'll move them. If you're here tonight and you need a touch of God, you need prayer tonight, I want you to come from where you're standing right now. In the name of Jesus, we're going to lay hands.